The smoke detector is an important equipment in fire alarm system. Once you encounter fire smoke, it will automatically alarm you and remind you to get out. So how do smoke detectors work? The most commonly type used ionization smoke detectors and photoelectric smoke detectors. Ionization smoke detectors include an ionization chamber, a buzzer battery, and a circuit board. Within the ionization chamber are two boards that are connected to the positive and negative terminals of the battery. The radioactive material americium-241 ionizes the air in the ionization chamber. Americium-241 continuously releases alpha particles, which can ionize the air inside the ionization chamber locally, forming positively and negatively charged ions. Positively charged ions are attracted to the negative plate, and negatively charged ions are attracted to the positive plate, thus allowing an electric current to pass through it. When smoke enters the interior of the ionization chamber, the smoke particles combine with the ions and reduce the conductivity of the air, decreasing the amount of current that passes through it. And if the current becomes sufficiently small, a buzzer will sound an alarm. Photoelectric smoke detectors, on the other hand, work on a completely different principle than ionization smoke detectors. A photoelectric smoke detector consists of a smoke chamber, a buzzer, a battery, and a circuit board. The smoke sensing chamber has an infrared light source and a photodiode receiving element. In normal standby mode, the photodiode does not get light from the light source because the infrared light source is not directed to the photodiode. However, when smoke enters the sensing chamber, light starts reflecting on the sensing chamber, and this reflected light reaches the photodiode and the buzzer sounds an alarm. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and follow.